What are some good suggestions for overcoming shiny object syndrome and being more consistent? Stop it. <laughs> If all you to buy something and you get that shiny object syndrome and you say, oh, I really need this, ask yourself if you buy it, will you use it within the next four hours? If the answer is no, then you really don't need it. If it looks like it's something good and you never thought of it and you think it's that shiny bullet, you don't need it. If it's something that you were thinking about getting in the future and it seems to fit at this time, then you can consider getting it. But wait at least 24 hours and make a decision then. But ultimately, if you're going to get it, make sure you implement right away within the next four. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the biggest problems with that the trips to shiny object syndrome is that you're wandering. You're lost. So you don't have the focus. But if you know what makes you money in your business and you know what those activities are, and you make sure that you're doing those activities every single day, first thing, before you play, then you're going to increase your money in the next year. I guarantee it. Absolutely. And one of the ways to know that is, like Joey said, is to have a coach. When you're looking at something and thinking, is this for me? I don't know. And you start to spin. You can say, should I buy this? And if you have a good coach, we'll say either yes, and we'll implement it together, and I'll help you with that. Or they'll say, no, this isn't right for you at this time and having that trust and help as well. But if the shiny object syndrome is fed by confusion and by wandering, so as soon as you have that focus, you can't be so easily distracted.